Hi, I'm Julia, and in this video, I'm going to show you two well-known and most common ways to install Hurricane Stone panels. Remember, these are only general guidelines for installing. You ask why just polycarbonate? Well, the answers are simple. The only seller in the United States of SOTA and polycarbonate sheets. 15 years of warranty, high quality material, and pure translucent product that won't go yellow. So, the first option is installation with studs. Step one, installation starts with measuring every window opening. Then add eight inches to the height and the width. There should be four inches overhang on top and bottom sides, the same on the left and right side. If there's a window sill, add only four inches to the height. Note that you will need to buy appropriate mounting materials for your type of house, wood, brick, or block. It is essential to choose those correctly. Step two, mark and cut the panels using a circular saw with a fine tooth blade. Step three, mark holes six inches from each corner and at least one inch from the edge. Then mark holes along the edges no more than 12 inches apart. Step four, drill holes into the panels using a step bit. Do not remove protective skin yet. Be sure to put the ultraviolet side on the outside. The ultraviolet side is labeled. Step five, center the panel over the window and mark the holes positions on your house. Step six, drill the holes Use a masonry bit if drilling into the brick or stucco. Then drive the anchors at these points. Note, if you have a sill, you will need to install the bracket. Step 7. Remove the interior protective skin and place the panel over the anchors to cover the window. Then place a neoprene bonded washer over each anchor and then secure it with the washer wing nut. Carefully, do not over tighten. Step 8. Remove the exterior protective film. It is high time to mark the panel's location for further use. Once the storm is gone, carefully remove the panels and then cover the anchors with protective end caps. The second option is the tension clips. The great advantage of the tension clips is that you don't have to use screws or nails to install your hurricane storm panels, but be careful because they don't work on vinyl siding. Step 1. Measure your window inside the window casing from top to bottom and subtract a quarter of an inch. Next, measure from side to side and subtract a quarter of an inch as well. Do the same for all of your windows. Step 2. Cut your panel according to your measurements. Be sure to put the ultraviolet side on the outside, though ultraviolet side is the side with the label. Step 3. With the tension legs facing toward you, place the clips along the edges of the panel no more than 24 inches apart. Remove the interior protective skin. Step 4. Be certain that the ultraviolet side is on the outside and push the panel on your window casing. Make sure that the clips are gripping the casing. Remove the exterior protective film and now it is high time to mark the panel's location for further use. Done! Now how to remove it when the storm is gone. Press down on the panel while you lift out the tension legs on one side. Your panel should come right off. Store the panel in clips for the next time. You've made it! We're proud of you! These are just two from a variety of options on how you can use our Sotone Polycarbonate. You can easily use it for carports, glazing of greenhouses, billboards, facade glazing, canopies, glazing of summer cafes, shop windows, and winter gardens. Thank you for watching. Have a great time. Bye bye.